Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I have a super fun project for you that I'm calling my swatch top. Remember all those swatches that Style Maker Fabric sent me for the swatch video? I always feel so bad throwing those away, so I decided to sew them all together and make this awesome shirt. Each fabric is different than the one next to it. Chalet sewn to jersey, wool sewn to crepe, twill sewn to fleece, and so on. This made it a bit challenging to sew, as you can imagine, and you can tell that all the corners don't match up perfectly, but I think that adds to the charm of the design, don't you? I also decided to randomly draw the fabrics from a bin to get a variety of colors rather than going for a single color scheme. Purples are placed next to greens, oranges next to teals, and pinks next to blues. This gives the color scheme a completely random look, which I love. Same goes for the pattern placement. I didn't pay any attention to which patterns were next to each other, so florals, stripes, and dots are all mixed in with the solids. When you look closely, you can even see that some of the patterns are upside down. I just wanted it to be as haphazard as possible, and I really think I nailed it. The pattern is Grainline Studios Willow Tank, which is such a great base for a design like this. It's a super simple design with just two pattern pieces, a front with darts and a back. I used red bias tape to finish the neckline and arm size and decided to leave the hem raw. Speaking of the hem, I really wanted to incorporate the slice of the border print swatch, so I just added it to the bottom of the front. There wasn't enough of it for the back, so it's like a reverse high-low hem, which I think is super cool. Longer in the front and shorter in the back is so flattering. April Fools! <laughs> gotcha! This isn't for real! This is fake! <laughs> you guys didn't think I was serious, did you? And if you did, well, then I love you even more. I am all for bold design choices, but this is a little too nutty, even for me. I thought it would be a super fun April Fool's joke, so I went for it. Honestly, it's not as tragic as I had imagined, but it's not all that brilliant either. It's just kooky enough, and I hope it makes you laugh a little. If you want to get in on the joke, be sure to share my Instagram post telling all your followers how much you love my latest creation. Try to keep the joke of it a secret to keep the fun going all day long. Thanks for being silly with me and letting me indulge my sense of humor a little. I'll see you all very soon. Bye!